Hey you going, it's Jeremy here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a YouTube banner just using vector shapes and vector illustrations. We don't have to go into Photoshop to create a YouTube banner, you can just do it all in Illustrator. So first start, what you want to do is open up Illustrator, go to File, New, up the top left corner, and you should get this box up if you're working in CC. If not, um, don't worry about it, it will be a similar box, but that's fine. We're going to go to the right here and you're going to change our size, our width and height, and we're going to also just rename it YouTube Banner. And what we want is we want our height to be 1440 and we want our width to be 2560. So these are the main um, height we need and stuff like that. And what we're going to do, you can leave it on points and you can also leave it on CMYK for now. Um, that's fine. And what we're going to do is press create. Just going to close that. So now you can see we've got our main part. But on YouTube, we're not actually going to use all this space. It only use, requires a minimum space. So press Control R to get the rulers up or Command R. You'll see you can get these rulers which makes guides. So I'm just going to drag um, a few of these guides out. And what we're going to do is we're going to specify in a second where they should go. So the minimum size we want is 1,546 by 423. Um, so pretty much, I'm just going to press M for the marquee tool. Just draw this out, draw a box. I'll put a color on it so you can see. I want to make sure this is 423. So we want to put those guides to that. And if your guides are locked, you want to make sure that um, you can go here and go smart guides and you can also go glides and you can go hide or lock guides the shortcut keys are there as well in case you miss that you also want to make sure that's turned on so and then we can just drag it and it should click to place so you want to make sure it's on point just like that so you can see that's our minimum and then for this section we want to do the same so I'm just going to make this um, 1546 and we want to center it so that if you click it you should get um, a line to artboard so you want to click this button go to line artboard then you click this middle button and that should bring this into the middle so this directly center and because we've specified our distance up the top there as you can see now we can just bring these two guides to the edge here and it should snap see the purple smart guides are on all right sweet so we got all that and yeah so we want to put our youtube banner within this so i'm just gonna make a box on the outline and just make it a dark gray so we can just ignore it and i'm gonna make a new layer go to your layers go window and layers panel i'm gonna click the button here and make a new layer call it background and then i'm just gonna put this there And just select that and you can select once you select it you can actually drag this little color you see this circle on the right you can actually drag that up and down so now we're going to lock the background layer and we want to work within um within this so actually, i actually want to move this to the bottom as well make it white put that on the bottom so yeah that's sweet so we can work within this and this is the minimum you need to for desktop and mobile so because people use mobile you want to keep it at this size but you can also make the thing go all the way to the edges. So if you want to use the whole space, you can use the whole length. So you can use these spaces, but um, people might not be able to see your your channel banner um, on mobile and it, on this desktop, it'll be too much. So just leave it like this. And yeah, we're gonna start designing. So go to layer one, just call it design. What we're gonna do, we're gonna do a simple banner. So first up, what I'm gonna do, I just have an ID just to do you know the adventurer. So I'm gonna press T for the, type tool and go type the adventurer and maybe the channel is like a vlogger or like a video guy um, something that cool I hope that hopefully that's how you spell it and then I'm just gonna change the typeface we'll go actually that's not um, see we'll do this one So pretty fun, pretty quirky. So I'm just leave that for now. And what I'm going to do is start creating some of the background. So I'm going to press M for the marquee tool. You can also go to the rectangle tool here. And we're just going to drag out a box. And we're just going to pick a color here. 
And if you go to your color, you can actually edit these um, parameters here. So it's too, looking too green. So I wanna make it a bit more dark, uh, yellowish, light, uh, light yellow. Yeah, that's looking pretty cool. And then I'm gonna select it, press Control 2 to lock that. And I'm just gonna start making some trees. So I'll use the point here. Click with the pen tool, press P for the pen tool. And that's in the center. And I'm holding Shift and just clicking. And I'll just select the green for now. And I'll probably drag this down. And then I'm gonna hold Alt or Option if you're on the Mac and just drag this out holding Shift. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my Transform panel here on the right here. You can also go to Window Transform, which is pretty sweet. Click the drop down menu and click Flip Horizontal. So I just flipped it and holding Shift, just like that. So now we've got like, it's in like a valley, which is pretty sweet. And then what I'm gonna do is go to my rec my shape tools again and go to star. I wanna just click and drag out and then press the down arrow key on your keyboard and we're gonna make a triangle. So I'm just gonna hold shift and then let go. And then I'm gonna just change the color. A little green. And then I'm gonna select it and then holding alt or option, just drag this in from the side. And this can be our tree. So what I'm gonna do is just start dragging some of that. I'm holding shift there. And just holding alt or option and just copying these trees um, down on the on the mountain or the valley. And we want to make these ones small. So I'll give some depth to it. Makes it feel like it's very far. And then what we can do, we can actually just copy this across. So I'm gonna select them all and then press Control G to group it. Just grouped it. And I'm gonna press Control C, Control F. So just copy now. And I'm just gonna hold Shift. Go back to Transform Panel, go there, flip horizontal. And yeah, so now I've got some trees in the valley and we can add more as we go along. Um, but that's looking cool for now. And then I'm gonna add some trees actually down the bottom here, but I might add a, I'm gonna make it darker. So I'm just gonna hit multiply on that. If you go to your transparency panel, you can click multiply. And actually that's not gonna work. I'm actually gonna make it a bit darker. I'll use this dark green here. And the same sort of thing, just going through, you know, just mixing around with different sizes. Doesn't have to be perfect. By making it darker makes it more like it there's like shadows that's in the far corner there and then I'll just select them again and then you can group them and then just copy them across and then we're gonna flip it again just like that so we're starting to get some you know balance here so we've got our valley we've got our main part and now I'm going to add a circle. So press L and you'll get the ellipse tool. And then I'm just going to drag out a sun. Holding shift and alt so it's perfectly center. And I'm just going to change to an orange. And then I'm going to press, I bring it to the back. So I press control shift left square bracket. But I'm going to press control right square bracket to bring it back up. Um, and what I'm going to do, I might change, drop this opacity down a bit. Maybe, yeah, 40% looks good. And what I'm going to do, just to get rid of this, I don't like it hanging out. I'm going to make a box, and then we're going to select the circle and the box, and then press Shift M, and you'll see that you can hold Alt and Option to minus these shapes out. And that's the Shape Builder tool, so we're just going to minus that out. And now we're sort of getting our banner here, which is pretty sweet. Um, so now I'm going to start adding my text. So I've got my main text here, the Adventurer. I'm going to press Control shift right square bracket to bring it up. I'm going to change it to a white. Um, we might make it bigger actually. So you want to try and avoid things on this bottom right corner because on YouTube there's a, the you get your websites and your links which you can add later on after you get 100 subs. So you will have links here and you want to avoid this area. So that's fine. So we want to put our type in the middle and that's how I like to do it. And then what I'll do is I'm just going to copy this type holding Alt and Option and then we're just going to make it smaller. And I might change the typeface. So we're gonna just pick a type 
that's less because this is our main type. We want to make it more simple. So pick like a sans type face, something that's flat. Maybe we'll go nothing. So yeah, that's looking fine. We'll go medium, just so it's not conflicting with that type. And I'm just going to make a box, press M, and I'm just going to change the color. Yeah, orange is fine. And then what I like to do is you want to, what you want to do, you want to put like how many videos you're uploading a week. So mine is like new video every Saturday. So new video every Saturday. So you want to give people an opportunity to know like how often you're putting out content. You know what I mean? So it makes it so then they know when to expect it. I'm just going to center these again. And so make sure it's centered. Now I might change this, bump up that up a little bit. And I'll drop this down. And I'm actually going to make it like a ribbon. So I'm going to press, select the box, press P for the pen tool. Look for the middle. So I'm going to click. And then use press A for the direct select tool. And I'm just going to drag this point now in just like that. Now also do the same for this side. And then drag it in roughly the same size like that. You can also bump it like just press hold shift or press left and right to guess how much it is. So one, two, actually I might just do one and then I'll just go back here. And then so if I go shift, hold shift and press right, it's pretty much similar and pretty much going to be the same. So that's pretty sweet. So I've got that happening. Um, I might make this a bit. Yeah. Okay, that's sweet. So we've got that, we've got a little banner happening and we've got our type here. And our type is a bit unreadable. So we, we could add like a a dark stroke on the back if you want to make it stand out a bit more but it's not going to look too good so what I usually like to do I like to make outlines so go type go create outlines and now it's just a shape and I go object and you can go path offset path hopefully that wasn't too quick but we can now use this offset path and it's gonna make the type have an offset so we can actually bump that up maybe 20 points actually maybe 15 points is all right press ok and then go to your Pathfinder, Window, Pathfinder, and click this button here that says Unite. So click Unite, and then now we're just going to change it to this, maybe this dark orange, and then bring it to the back. So now you've got that type there, which looks pretty cool, but we might change it to a black. Make sure you just select the back bit, not the typeface, to make it stand out. So you can see there that that stands out a bit more and we want to just make this a bit smaller. Just like that. So you could add an offset path just to make it like that. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring some social icons in. So you can just download this off free pick. So I'm just going to select this control C and then control V. And I want to make sure that I'm just going to fix these up real quick. Okay, I'm going to group them together, so select Control G, and then I'm going to make them smaller because it's good to show you that you're on social and where people can follow you. So we can leave these here on the bottom. I'm going to make it smaller so it doesn't conflict with these. And then what you could do is we'll get some type. We'll go um, follow me. And then you can go at wherever the ad. Adventure, the adventurer, like this. Actually, we're gonna make that separate. Yeah, I'm just gonna make these bigger. I wanna. I'm gonna change the typeface, maybe. Do like a simple script. Uh, Nick Ainley, that's a free font. And we'll just press I for the eyedropper tool, select the other type just to copy it. And then we'll not make sure these align. So select them both and then click on the one you want to align to. So click, I'm going to click that. And I'm going to go to the top on the align tool and click the center 
and now it's just centered it, which is pretty sweet. And then just use your eyes to roughly get there. So if people want to follow you, they can go follow me at the adventurer. Um, I might bump that up because it's a bit too small. So we've got some hierarchy here. And yeah, it's looking quite good. So we've got our main title. We've got, I don't know what happened to the trees. <laughs> they disappeared. So I'll just chuck that back. And yeah, so you can add some, we'll add a bit of glow now into the background. Press L for the circle tool again. We're just going to press R for the eyedropper, select the back. And then go to gradient and I'm just going to drag these. Drag it into there. And we're going to select one of the sliders, press zero. So we want to select this and make the opacity zero. And then select the type of it and select the radial. And then click this little button here, it's going to reverse that out. So that's pretty sweet. And now we're going to go to transparency mode again and we're going to play around. Usually color dodge works or overlay. So you can see it adds a bit of glow into the background. I'm going to make this smaller actually. We just want it to be in the background. So you can drag these sliders in the gradient tool to make it more prominent if you want. So you can see now there's a bit of a glow. And what I'd like to do, I'm going to make a clipping mask. So I press M again. You'll see a good clipping mask. Select the box and select this. And then press Control 7. Make sure the shape you're using is on top as well. And now you can see you've got this glow here. And we can actually just... Go to the top left hand corner, you'll see the clip group. You can actually click on edit contents, this little button here. And we can actually go back and edit this gradient as we want. So if color dodge is too light, we can, you know, play around with it. How we want. But I'm just leave it back and then I'm going to drop the opacity down a bit, 80%. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So yeah, here's our little, you know, channel trailer. You can put an image of yourself here. You can put um, extra stuff, you know, more trees. We can even add some clouds even. Just want to do some circles. And then I'm just going to put those, unite those together. And then you can change it to, go to transparency and go to, yeah, go to soft light. And you can just add some clouds in the background. To add some more, just some more detail there. So yeah, that's how you make a YouTube banner. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Leave a comment if you thought this was pretty cool. And don't forget to subscribe for more design content every week.